Hello everyone, welcome back to Lovely Lavender Wishes. It's Renee. I hope you're having a very blessed day today. So today we are going to start working on our, oh, I don't know, our file folder part of our Under the Sea journal. So y'all, yesterday, <laughs> I don't know if y'all do this, but yesterday I spent the day trying to figure out what I was gonna do on the cover. And I literally went in six different directions. I was staring at about 10 pieces of paper, trying to find the perfect paper to go on the page and blah, blah, blah. I don't know if y'all do that or not, but I will literally spend hours like having all my paper out here and trying, you know, going, does this one work better? Or does this one work better? Does this one work better? Or does this one work better? And it literally can drive me insane. And sometimes I'm just like, what the heck are you doing? Just just craft, just have fun with it. So I put it all aside at the end of yesterday and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna sleep on this, forget it. I'm not gonna do anything. And then this morning I woke up and I'm just like, you know what? Let's just do it. It doesn't matter if it's perfect or not. And if I come up with another idea, I'll just do it in another journal because I could literally stare at this forever. So. Let's just get crafting, y'all. So like I said, I went in about three different, or six, seven, eight, maybe nine different directions for this um, cover. <laughs> and finally, I just, I, I'm gonna settle on one thing and we're gonna go, we're gonna do it. So I am going to measure, I mean, I'm kind of measuring the paper. I want it to be a little bit less than the, you know, I want, I want some of this to show, you know, some of my sand part of the, paper to show. So I am going to cut this down to size. Hopefully I'm on camera or at least half on camera so y'all can see me. My desk is so full of stuff right now. Every time I'm in the middle of a project, that's what happens. Okay, let me just finish that off. And here I am again saying I still need a new blade for my trimmer. Uh, I need to just write myself a note. I know I have one somewhere. I just need to search for it. <laughs> so I don't know if you're all like that as well, but that's how I operate. Okay, let me put that here. Let me make sure. Okay, I've got this on here holding all these pages together. I'll leave that there for now. Let me make sure that I'm fully in camera for y'all. Okay, so this is perfect. Um, actually... I think I'm gonna trim it down just a tad because I want a little bit more of, you know, my coffee dyed paper to show. I sprayed all this. I think it's beautiful as is. I mean, I love it, but you know, we can't just leave it. I will leave a couple pages like that. I might do some collage pages with that as the background. But yeah, this will give us the little edge if you can see. Okay, so this is probably what I'm going to put on the back page. I just tore this piece out and inked it up. And this is going to be the back page that is going to have the two magnets underneath it. But I need to wait because I need to figure out what I'm going to be doing on this page. Well, actually I'm gonna make this into a pocket. So I'm going to end up sewing this after I decorate it, I'm gonna sew it. So I can't put this page on yet until I sew that page so this will cover the sewing. And perhaps, it may, it may not, um, because since this page is going to be a little less, actually you might see some of the sewing lines around it, I don't know. You know, that's kind of what you have to think about um, when you're, you know, you're working on each side. If you're gonna sew through the page or what, you wanna know which side you wanna work on first. So it'll make sense as we can continue to go on. So this has some really cool paper on the back side too, but I wanted this one to get a little darker um, in a few areas. It's not gonna be totally dark, but we want it darker. Okay, so this is the cover. So let me see what is going to be on the back. Okay, so I have this paper clipped, which because I have, this is going to be a top loading pocket. So my front cover's here. This is gonna be a top loading pocket which I'm going to sew. This is gonna get sewn in. So I don't wanna glue this onto the front cover until after I finish this part and sew that in. And then this will cover up all those sewing pieces. You won't see the sewing, so yeah. So right now we're just gonna work on the cover like this. Let me stick that back in there. Um, and I can sew on this page and then glue the whole thing on there. 
Okay, so let's just start working, y'all. I hope you're having a great day. So we will um, start on the cover and we'll just start working for the next hour or so and see how far we can get in to this. Okay, so the other thing, oh gosh, I forgot what I was even going to do, y'all. Okay, so I had this piece of paper. And so one thing I did do last night, I don't know if you can see it, is I um, put my crackle effect and I did like little drips down. There, you can see it right there drips down the page and I let it dry overnight. So you get this like, you know, crackle, old, drippy effect, like underwater drippy effect. So I did that and let that dry. So what I'm going to do now, I'm thinking this is going to be around it. So I am going to tear this kind of like waves a little, I guess, I guess you can say. I need to see how big I need to make it. Let's see what it looks like. Again, I always have these images in my head and then it, <laughs> I don't know. Like I went in such a different direction last night from what, what I originally had planned for this, this um, cover, but it wasn't working. What I was kind of wanting to do just wasn't working. See, now this isn't gonna work either because that's gonna be too big. I don't wanna hide all that black. So now I'm going to try to um, get this down. <laughs> I don't like that peak either. Okay. I don't like that big spot right there. Actually, um, okay, I'm just going to tear this part down right here. I just didn't want it like a straight line. Kind of to match the pages, the papers that I had in the last signature part. Okay, that should be good. Okay, so let's throw that away. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to verse, use Versamark and my silver um, embossing powder. I'm gonna just do a few of these edges. We'll see what that looks like. I want it to kinda be more in some areas, less in others. So I'm just inking up the edges here. Kinda going in a little bit in some spots. I'm gonna try to rush through this a little bit because I wanna try to get to other parts of this as well. So um, I'm gonna try to see how far we can get in this um, file folder part. Not that I'm rushing through it, but I wanna kinda go at a good steady pace. So if I get quiet on y'all, it's cause I'm concentrating, I'm trying to craft y'all. But yeah, I don't know if y'all do that with the paper Ugh. or pictures or images or whatever. I'll be like, well, I like this image, but ooh, I really like this one. And then I'll find another piece of paper. I'll be like, oh, this would look really good with that. And then, but then it doesn't look good with the image. And then I have to switch the images out. And then, you know, I switch the paper out and I can do that over and over and over again. And before you know it, I've got like 20 different um, samples in front of me. And then I sit and stare and I'm like, well, that could work and that could work and that could work. And then it's like, oh my gosh, then I'm just like stuck. I'm not doing any crafting whatsoever. I'm just kind of staring at all my samples in front of me. And sometimes you just got to get to a point where 
it's just like, okay, just, just start crafting. <laughs> like sometimes I just, I want it to be perfect and perfect. I don't know in my mind, I guess. I mean, there's no perfect. Um, I mean, I, you know, it's half the time. I don't even know what I have pictured in my mind as what's perfect. It's just, I don't know, I'm waiting for something to hit me or something, you know, like, oh, that's perfect, you know, but that rarely happens. Oops, I, gotta, I missed a spot up here. Missed a couple spots, actually. I'm too busy talking, y'all. So let's make sure we get it all. There we go. Much better. Much better. Okay, so I like that silver. So I'm thinking of, let's do... Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, so now I am going to, what am I gonna do? Where's my glue stick? I'm trying to find my glue stick, y'all. Take my glue stick. Oh, it's over on this side. This one I think has more glue in it. Okay, I'm gonna glue this on, but then I'm also probably gonna go in and sew this on. So I'll do all my sewing off camera. So I, I don't mind gluing with a glue stick because it's gonna get sewn on. And sometimes these glue sticks, once they're on and you get them on, they're pretty strong. Um, but I love this style. It's just like another little, I don't know, added interest to the page, I guess, that you really don't see until you're looking at it close up and they're like, oh wow, that's so cool, you know? I like things like that in my journals. Okay, so what my idea is, is this is gonna go in like this. So I'm probably gonna sew this on this piece first. This is going to go in like this, and then I'm gonna sew this whole thing onto the cover. This is going to be a tuck spot, like a little pocket, or yeah, a pocket right here. Okay, so then this will sew on. I'll glue this, once I get this whole thing done, I'll glue this whole thing onto this, okay? So, at the top, Another thing I did, okay, so let's start getting all our stuff. So I was just kind of goofing around yesterday and I made this little chain. Let me bring this up close. And it's a good thing I did it off camera because it took me forever just to do all these little jump rings. All it is is a chain, jump ring, and a bead. Jump ring and a bead, jump ring and a bead all the way across. Kind of like, you know, mermaid scales, I guess. And I'm going to put this, and then I have two little bulb pins right there. And I wanted to cut this. I, I want to make sure that it's going to stay. Okay. We're going to cut this, let's see, right about halfway, I guess, right there. Okay. So that's going to get glued, first glued, and then I'm going to sew it across the top too to make sure it stays. So right now I'm just going to glue it. Um, let's get the glue going. That would probably help if I took all this off too. That is not helpful. There we go. Come on, we can do it. Here it comes. Here it comes. So this is going to go across the top. We'll let that dry and then make sure then um, I'm gonna sew it as well but this will just hold it for me for now until I can get to my sewing machine uh, like I said I'm gonna do all my sewing this afternoon I'll do it all off camera so y'all don't you know aren't staring at nothing <laughs> oh that's gonna look cool Looks like little mermaid scales, little fish scales. And then this, like I said, is going to be, I'm trying to decide. I think we want to tilt it this way. Oop. Let's make sure you're all there. Ugh. Once it gets glued and sewed on, once that dries, it'll, it'll be nice. So I'm thinking, yeah, it'll kind of be on a little tilted angle like this underneath here. Trying to figure out where it's going to go. Okay, we're right about there. And then my thing will be able to slide in and out right here, my card. Okay, so let's move that. So the other thing I wanted to do is add a whole bunch of stuff down here. Let me move all this. 
Okay, so I also did this off camera. You've seen me do this before. It's just um, a piece of this mesh right here. Um, a couple pieces of sari silk, a couple pieces of um, eyelash uh, thread, and then I sewed the, all the little sequins on. You can see all that catching the light. So I just did that off camera. You've seen me do it before. I have this, I have this, and I have this mesh. And so, okay. Now I'm seeing what, okay, I'm gonna have to do this probably after I sew this on, but let me show you what I'm going to do. So then y'all know. Okay, so once I sew, once I sew this piece on to this, then I'm gonna go on top of it and I'm gonna put some mesh on here in some shape or form. I'll like kind of, you know, squiggle it around. I'm gonna put this on there somewhere and I'm thinking I'm gonna glue and maybe sew, <laughs> maybe I'll go in and hand sew a little bit of this, like kind of like this. You know, something kind of like this. I'll kind of have to fiddle with it, but that. And then let's grab, where is my, well, I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna grab some of my copper, what is this? Copper Kettle Metallic Luster Deco Art. And just a little bit, you don't even need a lot, just, just a tad. And I'm gonna antique up my shell so it matches all the other shells that I've had in the book. Just a little bit, that's all you need. Let's put it to the side. hands okay and then this is going to I'm thinking kind of get tucked in there a little bit and glued down as well so this is going to be the cover of this okay that'll be on the front so now we need to make but yeah first I have to sew that so I'm gonna sew this sew this and then I'll glue all this and maybe hand sew a couple of these down um, so it's um, stuck firmly to this and all the sewing will be on the back of this page and then when I get it all completely finished and dried overnight this whole thing is going to get glued on to the cover okay so there's our cover so far I mean that's <laughs> the first step of the cover so let me move that okay so now what I would like to do is make, whoop, make the tag that's gonna go in this cover. So let's see, I'm gonna put this to the side by my sewing machine. And so I wanna make a tag that's going to fit in here. So if I'm gonna sew it, I'm gonna sew around the edges. So I wanna make sure it's gonna slide nice and easily through here. So I'm thinking here to maybe here. And this is um, one of the papers, pages I did on my jelly plate with some of the copper and such. So, and then it's going to go down to the end here. And I want it to maybe stick out right about there. And then we'll have to see how it all measures up. So let's see. Okay, I had two lines on here now and I gotta figure out. probably go to about there and I won't know until I actually get this sewed and I can try it and test it out 
I'm gonna cut this little piece off though. Okay, so the other thing I did yesterday, since I was getting all frustrated, I'm like, okay, I am just gonna take a couple of my um, file folders and just spray them with my instant coffee spray. So I just take a couple spoonfuls of instant coffee, um, stick them in here, and then um, put some water in it, and let it just kind of sit a little and get uh, dissolved, and then I shake it and then spray it. You can get these, you know, really cool, kind of like sandy type looks. And what I want to do is have one of these little tabs. So let's use this side. So this is going to be my backing. And then this will be the side, I'm trying to figure out which side I want to, this will be my backing, and this will be the side that you can um, journal on. Oh my gosh, y'all, losing my brain. Okay, actually, I'm just going to glue this on here. This will all get sewn on as well. I'll probably sew around all this to give it some more dimension and such. This is just the background paper. I want it to stick out a tad, so. I don't know, we'll see. We'll do it, we'll see if it works, we'll see if I like it. I might change my mind and totally say, oh, no, that did not work the way I wanted it to. So I'm gonna leave a little, little edge, like a minuscule edge around. And I might have to cut it down depending on if it's gonna slide in and out of the pocket easily. Okay, the other thing I want to do is I'm going to grab this. And I just want just a little um, tab. I don't want this big one, so I'm going to kind of trace this and make my own little mini tab right there. Okay, so the idea is, it's gonna go this way, to have this slide in and it's gonna stick out like that. And it looks like if I sew right around the edge, this should slide in very easily. And I'll slide in, and then this will be hanging off the edge right there. Okay, let's move this. Okay, so now I have this little mermaid picture, and she is going to, I'm gonna tear her. going to have her home on this little journal card here. Hmm. Trying to think what else I want to add. Maybe some more of this, oh, maybe this mesh. Maybe just a little bit. Okay, I also want to ink her up a little bit. And I think I'm gonna 
actually cut her down a little bit more because I want some of this background to show with all this copper. I don't know. I like the copper on there. And I'm just using ground espresso to darken up the edges. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Sorry, y'all, I know I'm getting quiet. I'm starting to get in my zone. Getting in the zone. This is just gonna be one of the journal cards. And you know, once you start pulling this mesh apart, like it really goes a long way. A little piece goes a long way, and I actually don't even think I need this much. I just wanted just a little bit to kind of interest. We'll use that piece for something else. Okay, so I'm just gonna get it on here. Like I said, I might go back in and sew around all that. Okay, I also want to get an eyelet. So let me see if I can find. I think we'll do like a silver, small little silver eyelet. Where are my small little ones? Oh, here we go. I'm almost running out of little ones. Little silver ones. thinking let's ink this part up too while I'm thinking about it otherwise I'll forget so here you have area to journal or put a picture on and let me grab my crocodile eyelets so these are eyelets or no sorry these are eyelets these are jump rings some people have asked me that before and I I'm getting them all confused let me put this in here otherwise I'll lose my my needle okay so yeah this is an eyelet this is a jump ring and I have this little um, mermaid a little uh, charm that I thought would be cute hanging from here let's see what let's see how it how it sets if it sets good sits good sets good if it's laying properly Ooh. who caught it oh. see this is why you didn't want to watch me do that whole uh, necklace part you know with all the charms on it yesterday <laughs> took me a while I just put on some music and I just kind of fiddled around with it it's the best way to do it make sure that's shut and so that oh that's gonna look cute so that'll be hanging outside and I'm thinking I might want to put some eyelash trim or something there. 
Um, let me see. Let me see what I have. Um, hmm. oh, I've got this one. Grab the cover here. So that'll be like that. That'll be hanging down. That'll be under there. This will all be here. Maybe have that. Okay, that might work. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> this one's almost out. I've been using up all my eyelash trim on this. I don't need that much, I don't think but we'll see. It's better to have more than less when I'm trying to make a bow or something. Let me stick this through here and see if I can. So I'm gonna pull this through the loop. Tighten it on there and then I'm gonna make like a little bow. can with all these eyelash things getting in my way and I want just like a little bow you all know when I start I fiddle it I fiddle 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 with these bows all the time like I want it to be a certain size I want it to be perfect that might be a little big come on we need a teeny tiny bow but I want it tight a tight little bow Oh, that's cute. I think that'll look really cute. Okay, so I'm going to just cut off that piece. We could use that on something. I'm going to cut off that piece. Oh, that one's way too tiny. We'll just toss that. Oh, bye-bye. Eyelash trim. Okay. So that's what that will look like on the cover. Can you all picture it? Okay, all I gotta do now is just sew everything and then get it all on the page. So, can you picture it a little bit right there? There we go. That's gonna be the cover. And then this will come out like that. And you have a little journal card. So cute, okay. First page, almost done. Just needs to be sewn. <laughs> okay, so let me put that by my sewing machine. Okay, let's see, what do we got next? Next thing, you flip it open and we've got this sheet right here. So let me figure out, what was I going to do on this sheet? Oh yeah, I was gonna think, I was thinking I was doing gonna be doing a big um, tuck spot. So let me grab this. I was putting some stuff together because that seems to help me at least get myself going in the direction that I need to be going. So, this is going to be the tag part. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let me move this in there somewhere so it doesn't distract me. Okay, I am going to just cut that right there and measure. This is going to go from here to here. It's going to become like a large side tuck spot. So let's let's get this trimmed down and then we can play with it. It always helps me to trim my paper down and then I can kind of fiddle and fool with it and play with it. Do what I want with it. Did I get all the way? Yay. Okay. Let's put that to the side. This I'm thinking is going to we'll make that the tag so let me put that to the side okay so this again I want this to show so I want this to actually again be waved a little bit so I'm gonna try to 
tear it so it's a wave again, wavy, since we're under the sea or near the sea or by the ocean or on the beach, whatever, wherever we're at. Like that. Oh yeah, okay. Then we're gonna ink this part up. And in this book, I am using the Ground Espresso because I want it to be darker versus my other signatures, if you've been watching, um, they're the blue, the light blues. It's kind of, you know, I've been using like all the Mermaid Lagoon inks and stuff like that. This one is going to be more of a dark and vintage -y look is what I'm going for in this book. Okay. Super easy. Okay, now the other thing I want, now you have to figure out, okay, so this side is going to be two pockets so I'm trying to think the first thing I'm going to want to do I'm not going to want to sew this on yet what I might actually want to do is sew all of this at the same time because that'll sew this on at the same time does that make sense so when I go to the the machine I'm going to glue this on just gently just to hold it in place and then when I go to sew once these are decorated, I'm gonna sew down this, across here, and up this. And that's gonna end up sewing this and these at the same time, so I don't have to double sew. Does that make sense, y'all? So this will get sewn on, okay? So actually, I'm gonna just clip that there, because I know I need to sew that. So this is gonna be a side tuck. So for that side tuck, I'm gonna make a large, um, let me put this here so y'all can see. A large uh, journal card. But when I had these words, uncharted territory, I wasn't sure. Yeah, it might fit. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to emboss that with that clear embossing powder to make it look like it's underwater, along with these as well. You've seen me do that on, on a, the other time but let's start measuring this out so we want it to be kind of a large journal card so ooh, that'll fit perfectly so I'm gonna cut it just a little bit smaller There's my, there's my line. I almost lost my line. Oh wow, look at that. Almost perfectly, it was almost already cut like that. There we go. Let me put that paper to the side because I'm definitely gonna be using it some more. So this will tuck in here. And actually, let me see, it should go. If that is sewn, it should go right about there. Perfect. Right? And it'll just stick out a little. Actually, we might want to, yeah, we're gonna back this, and I might want to back it with another tab. Do we wanna do that? We might as well. So let me grab this one. That will be the journal page. And we'll sew that as well. And I'll make a little tab there. Okay. Oh, running out of glue. Yep, totally running out of glue. You guys go through glue sticks as fast as I do. <laughs> ah, I go through probably, oh, and this one's almost out too. Okay, let me go find another glue stick, y'all. Okay. So I buy them in packages like this from Sam's Club or Amazon or wherever I can get them. And probably one, this will last me through maybe two journals. Maybe. Maybe three. Oops. Oh, smart Renee. Just glue it right to the page. Hello. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it'll last me a little bit longer. It just depends how much I'm using my glue stick. 
And again, I want to keep this, I have like a little edge on it. Again, I'm probably going to sew this as well. So I love using these file folders for journal cards. You can stamp them and do other things. So I might, when I'm, usually this is just, again, the base. And then what I do when I'm done with the whole journal, you know, getting all the base parts done, I go through again, I start decorating things up more. I might stamp things, um, you know, like the backs of these, I might do some stamping or do a little collaging or add some things, you know, to the collage pages. So I like doing that as well. I'll go through, you know, before I'm totally completely finished with my journal. Okay, so let us do this again. I want like a little, let's just do a little one like right about here. Okay. So yeah, I'll always go back and kind of zhaja things up a little bit more or you know, add maybe a couple little flips or a couple little pockets or, or what have you as well. Um, you know, I'm always adding more. I can never, and then after a while I have to make myself stop. I have to say, okay, I can't add anything else or I can, but the journal will just get way too poofy and thick and it's just crazy, so. Look at that already, it just grunges it up so quickly. I love that. Look at those gorgeous, like, I don't know if y'all can see that, just gorgeous um, layers I got with the spray. It's just coffee spray, that's all it is. And I would spray it once and then go back and maybe drip on it or maybe, you know, spray it again and you get these layered looks. I love it. And it just looks like sand to me. So it's perfect for this journal perfect like I said I try to do something different with every journal so I haven't done this before with the spray and just keeping the file folders like this so it's a new thing for me new thing with my journal okay so now let's let's emboss these so where is my white paper where did I put it oh here okay so I'm gonna take my embossing powder, my Versamark, and I'm gonna take clear embossing powder. So this is the, the um, this is how I make it look wet a little bit. And if you, if you get, you know, if you don't get a couple areas, that's fine. It kind of looks like, you know, the water is washed up on it in certain areas and not on other areas. So you don't have to be precise. But if you want to make sure that you're hitting all the areas, you might wanna go over it a couple times you know, like emboss it one time, and then put some more Versamark on it, emboss it again. You can dip it a couple times in the embossing powder. But this, I don't mind if it's just getting in certain areas. I'm trying to get all of it, but if it, you know, if it doesn't get in like a little couple little spots, it's a no problem. It gives it that really cool look. I'll show you when we get it up close. Okay, so. This is clear embossing powder. I'm gonna have to get another, um, I'm almost out of this. I mean, it'll still last me for quite a while, but. This is one I do use a lot. My silver, I use my silver a lot as well. Especially like in Bible journaling and such. Let me move those off because I'm going to have to, ugh, it's sticking to me. I'm going to have to um, get this embossing powder back in its container. My little starfish, okay. I mean, embossing powder actually lasts quite a long time. I mean, I've had this for years. I mean, I guess I'm halfway. I'm not, I'm not really out. <laughs> I'm halfway, so I guess I have a long time to go. It's just any time I get it to the halfway mark or something, I'm like, oh, I, I need more. Okay, let me find my, oh, my little tweezers. Okay, I'm gonna 
gonna try to hold it right on the edge here. Now let's heat these up. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Let me bring it up closely. See how it looks like it's just like dappled with water. I mean, I think I'm just gonna see it. There's one. There's two. My camera's trying to. Um, let, me, let me heat this one up a little bit more. There we go. See, look at that. It looks so cool. Looks like it's just wet. It also gives it that starfish look because the starfish have the, um, like the bumpy uh, edges to them, you know? Bumpy skin, I guess. Exoskeleton, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, that one might heat up quickly. There's that one. If you want it to have like a full uh, clear covered look, you could use um, the glossy accents. This is crackle accents, but you could use glossy accents over it and you know have it like a poofy kind of look. If you want to layer a lot of it on there, I just want kind of like a wet look. But if you want more, you can re-emboss re this and put another layer on. You can, you know, emboss it a couple times if you want. Multiple times if you want, really. I just wanted that, like, if you can see that in the light, just like a, a touch of water. Okay, I'm gonna let those sit there for a second, okay. Okay, that away. Okay, so, let's see. And grab this. So I was thinking maybe gluing this on. A little bit. Oh, I'm dropping pieces. And then, you know, when you emboss them too, it kind of gives it like a little plasticky feel. So I'm kind of sticking these in. But I also wanted to add, well, I have these extra pieces. I could put those in the back just to add something. Glue those back there to add a little bit more. Okay. So let me cut this. lay like that. Okay. Okay, something like that. And glue stick is great for this mesh kind of stuff, the cheesecloth. You can kind of play around with it and move it where you want it to go. A 
bunch it up and you know gather it and do whatever I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with this last piece down here okay and then I have some let's see I had some of this white I don't know if I want it to be I gotta find the end of this thing Oh, brother. You know, it'd be nice if they, like, put an end, like, put a little tab on it or something for, you know, if I, I'm afraid if I take it out of this thing, though, the whole thing's going to unravel on me. Oh, well. It probably will. There we go. There's the end. And I'm wondering if I do this, if I just kind of... Runge it up a tad. Oh my gosh, y'all. I just looked at the clock. We're at 50 minutes already. Ah, this, we're not gonna, we're, this is gonna be tough. We're not, this is gonna be like a 20 part series, I think. I don't think we're gonna get very far. Ah, okay, so what I'll do off camera, so we'll stop it here. Goodness, y'all. Goodness gracious. Okay, so I'm going to fiddle around with this. I'm going to put some of these behind here. Look at how pretty that'll look. You know, just blah, blah, blah. Stick it on. Um, let's see. I'm going to sew around this. I'm probably going to put an eyelet here and do something here. Maybe some twine or something. Or maybe some scales hanging or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out what I have. Um, that'll go in here. We'll sew that up. Okay, so for this, all I'm gonna do, and then the ter char uncharted territory will go on here somewhere, probably with some cheesecloth behind it. Um, so this tab, this journal card will go in here like that. It'll come out, it'll go all the way in, but it'll come out like that. So I'll work on that. What I'm gonna do this afternoon also is I'm going to just um, put paper all the way through here, paper, all the way through here so three pieces of paper and I'm thinking I had these to the side so it's gonna be these three so kind of browns and a light blues those will go here once that is done I'm gonna sew all of this so all this will be sewn and so that flap is done okay this flap um, what was I going to do on this flap I think if I could find my oh I was gonna do like a big pocket here like coming down big pocket and then a little pocket across the bottom so like an angled pocket here and one across so I'm gonna keep this background and I'm gonna do a big pocket um, I think I'm gonna keep that background if I remember correctly I like that this we're gonna do together um, we'll do a see-through kind of pocket like an under the ocean see-through type thing. I'm still gonna uh, figure that out. And then this side, um, we might have to do this side together because I think this one is a little bit more uh, involved. I'm trying to think what I was gonna do on this. Yeah, I was gonna do like a pocket in a tuck spot on this side, so actually it's not too hard. Um, I'm gonna do a pocket facing this way and then a tuck spot going this way on this um, side. Now before, Oh, it's a good thing I flipped this. I have this envelope and I'm debating if I wanna like have it tucked in here and do like a top envelope kind of thing. Um, now before you sew these together, if you wanna tuck this under, I might cut this little flap off and so then you just have like, a, a, you know, a rectangular piece here. You would tuck that under here and glue it to this side. That makes sense. You would glue it to this piece here, and then you would sew all this together. So, like, you cut this part off, so you won't see that. That's going to be glued on the inside of here, so you won't see that. And that's how this is going to stay. So, yeah, I have to do that first before I sew this, because once you sew it, you're not going to be able to get in there to glue that in. Okay. So that's why you got to kind of think through all your little areas. So the next time I see you on camera, we will have this first section done except for this little flat piece right here. 
So um, I'm gonna do a couple pockets on this page, um, some tuck spots and stuff here. We're gonna get this in here and then we'll go on. So that is what we've got done so far. I hope that makes sense. I'll show you in the next video what I've accomplished. So that's what I'll work on this afternoon. So a lot of it is just gonna be sewing and just finishing up these little tags and stuff. So anyways, hope you're getting the picture of this um, and um, hope you're enjoying the process. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Thanks all for joining me. Bye.